Chito Vera had an excellent performance against Pedro Munoz that was missed by so many people who were watching the fight, especially the commentators, that didn't acknowledge a lot of the defense that Chito showed, specifically in the first round against Pedro Munoz, leading the commentators and then through them, leading the audience to believe that Pedro Munoz should have won the first round. And that goes to show that great subtle defense is very much underappreciated or flat out unseen, and Chito delivered on his defense to an excellent degree, and he came into that fight on short notice, which made it much more impressive. I even ran some numbers, this is not going to tell you the whole story, but pretty interesting. With no feints, Pedro Munoz threw a total of 75 strikes in the first round. 38 of them was defended by Cheeto. 21 of them were partial lands. This is while Cheeto is rolling with the punches, blocking the punches, but it still partially touches through. Cheeto's moving away from the punch, but it touches him just at the end of it no impact on that or he puts up a guard and the punch hits him toward the top of the head very little impact from the punch these are the partial shots that Chito was getting hit by and 16 of Pedro's shots were clean 16 shots out of 75 were clean from Pedro and 9 of those 16 were light kicks 6 of the 21 partial strikes were light kicks and that pretty much goes to show you that Chito needs to defend light kicks because those are the major shots that we're getting through. That means seven strikes other than light kicks landed clean for Pedro Munoz, only seven. So what this shows you is most of the shots that Pedro landed were partial and most of the shots that were clean were from light kicks. So Pedro's total accuracy was 49%. Pedro only connected clean with 21% of his strikes, and most of those were light kicks. If you don't include the light kicks, then Pedro landed 9% clean strikes. I did run the numbers on Cheeto as well. I know this is more about his defense, but just to compare, Cheeto landed 42 strikes out of 63, which is 67% accuracy. That is extremely high. I'm pretty sure the average is like even under 50% for fighters. 24 of those strikes are clean, with half of them being his Jab. That means 38% of Cheeto's strikes were clean. That's nearly double Pedro's. And even if you want to take away the jabs, let's just say, you know, Pedro doesn't move his head off the center line too much. That's still 19% of Cheeto's strikes other than the jab being clean over doubling Pedro's strikes without the leg kicks. But overall, as you can see, most of Pedro's shots were not landing and not landing clean. Now again, this doesn't tell you the whole story, but I do like to bring stats to this just to give people a general feeling. But let's go to the moments here. How good was his defense in that first round? Cheeto Perry jabs throughout the whole round and you're going to see a lot of that. And he doesn't parry jabs in a traditional sense where he has his hand up to his head and he's kind of just deflecting the punch. He's trapping your jab when you throw it. He's bringing his hand away, grabbing onto your hand or wrist and pushing it in. The confidence you have to have to do something like this is pretty crazy because if you miss, they're going to get in on you, not only with the jab, but the follow off shot as well. You usually want to keep your hands closer to your head, but Cheeto's so good at parrying with a little error, he's able to extend his hand and trap your jab. So we see this moment right here. Pedro showing his right hand out there to measure distance, and Cheeto has both of his hands extended forward. A complete defensive stance. He's waiting to see what Pedro's going to do. And whenever someone is reaching with the right hand like this, they're usually going to throw the left. Because when your right hand is forward, your left shoulder is back, which acts like a coil to spring for a punch. And he's stepping forward as well. Notice how Pedro with his lead foot, is stepping forward. He throws the jab and tries to get it in between Cheeto's arms, but Cheeto is able to parry it on the inside, stopping it midway through from getting anywhere near Cheeto. And he holds on to the wrist. This is very difficult to do. Not only is he deflecting the punch, he's also grabbing onto the wrist for full control, and he has control of the right hand as well. Great awareness by Cheeto, he's able to get away from Pedro doing this. Here we see something very similar. Notice how Pedro is extending with his right hand again, and he's cocking back his left shoulder, ready to fire it. But this time, Cheeto doesn't have both of his hands extended, but still easily parries the punch, grabs onto the wrist and pushes it inward as he leans away, allowing Cheeto to create more space in between them. This is very good to do against shorter fighters. I wouldn't expect him to do something like this against Sean O'Malley too much to move away from this because he has to get in on someone who's longer than him and that is probably going to be his next matchup. So he might use this in the opposite way against someone like Sean O'Malley, where he's going to parry the jab, push it inward for himself to move at the longer opponent. 
They continue, and both fighters have their palms open. Pedro's trying to find a way around this parry, right? That right hand from Cheeto is giving him issues. And without the jab, Pedro has a hard time getting anything off with his own punches. So he tries to deflect that right hand downward, trying to eliminate it from Cheeto parrying his jab. It's a good attempt, but it doesn't stop it. Cheeto is still fast enough to bring his hand from getting deflected back up to parry the flicker jab. I don't know about this parallel stance he gets into after he did that. That's a, a little bit of a risky a risky stance to take after. Here we see Pedro moving at Cheeto, throws the jab, and Cheeto parries it again. This time he has his hand closer to his head instead of reaching forward for the parry, but he still grabs a hold of the wrist regardless, and he pushes it inward again. And you can see Pedro stepping forward and to his own left, trying to line up his opponent for the overhand right. As he's stepping to his own left side, it's going to place his opponent to his own right. That's the spot for his right hand to connect. Cheeto still has control of the wrist, gets into the parallel stance again just like he did last time, and puts up that left guard sees the overhand coming, blocks it effectively, he leans away because he sees that Pedro's trying to follow this up. He's very aware of every step that Pedro takes, and once they settle after that exchange, Cheeto pops him in the face with a jab. Pedro's throwing kind of like a hybrid jab left hook, arm fully extended, and it does partially land, these are some of the partial punches that he hits Cheeto with, but at the same time, Cheeto is parrying the punch, throwing it upward and away from his head, making it only graze with his thumb. Now interesting enough, both fighters are in the opposite stances. They both were orthodox, and now they're both southpaw. Let's see how Cheeto's defense translates to the other stance. So Pedro moves forward, throws a jab again, and gets parried the exact same way. Cheeto grabs onto his wrist and pushes it inward. Pedro tries to bring it around for a right hook, so he throws the jab forward, it gets pushed inward, he brings his arm down and around to get away from the grip, and throws that right hook and misses because Cheeto's moving away from him and leaning while also putting up that left block. He's putting multiple defenses up. Some would say unnecessarily how much he tried to defend that right hook, but him evading it is all that matters. Then Pedro shows his right hand afterward, and Cheeto puts up his right hand ready to parry it. He is so ready at all times. And then Pedro lands an easy inside leg kick, no defense from Cheeto. It shows you the difference of his ability to check leg kicks from defending punches. And as a kicker himself, that is kind of strange, you know? And he had to have known that Pedro throws leg kicks. Now Cheeto moves forward and tries to bring down Pedro's left hand. And look at the difference of defense between them two. Pedro does not show anywhere near the same kind of awareness that Cheeto shows. When Cheeto shows his right hand, Pedro also brings his right hand to that side to defend the punch, so both of his hands are on his own left side. This is very bad for him, because there's nothing defending his right side, making it a clear view for Cheeto to land a big left hand right to the jaw of Munoz. And this was the biggest strike of the entire round as well. Pedro gave a big reaction from the punch, but then he tries to get it back. He moves forward at Cheeto, gets kind of reckless, and from that southpaw stance, he's darting forward a left straight. This is quite similar to what El Jermaine did to Sean O'Malley. The differences are that Cheeto's not an orthodox, as O'Malley was, and he doesn't try to parry the lead hand because Cheeto's not probing it forward, and he's in southpaw, different than Sean O'Malley. But the punch itself from Pedro is identical to what El Jermaine did. And Pedro pretty much just thinks of defense at that point. He moves away, causes the punch to fall short, which is showing good distance management, very similar to Sean O'Malley as well. Then again, Pedro is much, much shorter, right? He has a 65 inch reach and Cheeto has like a 71 inch reach. So it is much easier compared to uh, O'Malley moving back on El Jermaine's punch. But regardless, shows good distance management. And as Pedro is berserking forward, looking for a big right hook after, it does partially land. This is again one of those partial shots because Cheeto puts his arms forward, grabs into the tight plum, and with his left arm being on the inside, it's making it harder for Pedro to dig in with his punch, making it collide with the shoulder, and Cheeto is more focused on defense and control before delivering with any kind of damage. Pedro is trying to deliver damage without any control or any defense awareness. Pedro throws another left hook, which gets blocked by the shoulder as Cheeto brings his head downward. He brings it downward for two different reasons. Number one, he doesn't want to get touched by the left hook. And number two, when he drops his level there, he's also going to pull Pedro Munoz's head down too. So he can counter this with a knee up top. And credit to Pedro for blocking it with one hand, but the impact still gets through. You can't block a knee like this with one hand without feeling any kind of damage. Pedro's head is made out of iron because most guys would have gotten hurt by this. Cheeto's trying to find an exit from the pressure, so he moves out to his own right and Pedro goes to intercept him with the left hook. He swings it very wide, huge telegraph, and as you can see, Cheeto brings his hand inward first, 
thinking it was going to be a jab, but because of how much Pedro telegraphed it, he does bring his arm to the side a bit, only partially blocking, but he's also able to move his body slightly away enough for the punch to miss. And then Chito throws a slapping left hook that grazes Pedro. He does this sometimes. I don't like that punch too much. I'm going to be honest here. It reminds me a lot of uh, what Nate Diaz was doing against Jake Paul, but he does touch Pedro. So great exchanger from Chito showing good defense, creating counter opportunities for himself and getting away from that kind of pressure. And I know the video is more about Chito's defense, but man, I got to point out some of the defense from Pedro here as well as some decent offense from Chito. So Chito goes forward and throws a jab, which gets parried by Pedro effectively. Notice the difference in parries here. When Pedro parries, he just slaps the hand downward. He doesn't grab onto it. He doesn't create control like Chito does. He's not as high level at parrying as Chito is, but it's a good parry nonetheless. And he has that left hand up ready to parry the right straight from Chito. Notice how they're both in orthodox, but the precision was better than the defense. Chito was able to get around that hand over the shoulder, does not get partially blocked, his hand straight to the jaw with nothing stopping it. Good shot from Chito and goes to follow this up with a hop in left hook. He hops with both of his feet at the moment the punch is about to land on Pedro. But credit to Pedro rolling with the punch and holding that right hand up to his head just in case. And he was very aware. Notice how Pedro noticed Chito hopping forward slightly with the punch to not only extend it, but also to generate more power in it. As Chito hops forward, Pedro hops backward with the same measurement, perfectly gets away from the punch and slightly moves his head with it. That's some great defense from Pedro right there. Look how much Chito overextended, his shoulders all the way turned over. That's how much he committed into that left hook, thinking that it was going to land. He definitely did not expect Pedro to defend like that. And here comes the right hand, it's kind of a slapping punch. Pedro tries to duck and move his head on the inside of it, which is going to extend the punch even more and causing the only kind of impact from it to be in a slapping manner. It still does connect, but Pedro's head movement there caused the power to be much less. And Chito switches into the southpaw stance, and here comes Pedro. He doesn't take the outside foot, but he does try to line up the right hand without throwing a jab first, which showed me that he was aware of the stance switch, but didn't address it that well. He steps forward and doesn't step too deep, throwing a right hand from distance against the longer guy, and Chito easily moves away from the punch and also parries it after it follows through, just in case. This is a pretty nice adjustment from Pedro though. He throws in the jab and Chito parries it. They're both in southpaw this time. And as Chito parries it, he pushes it inward. Pedro understands that his power hand is going to reach further than his lead hand. So at the moment that Chito pushes his hand inward, Pedro fires the left straight as Chito did not expect it whatsoever. He thought if anything was going to be a hook. That's why Chito put his right hand to his side instead of forward. Complete did not expect Pedro to do this. And he does connect clean with that left hand, but it just doesn't affect Chito too much. That guy's chin is incredible because that was the main power punch that connected clean in the round. And it just did not affect him that much. Chito throws in a jab, both still in southpaw, knowing that it was going to get parried as Pedro's hands are tighter together. He knew punches straight down the center were going to get defended. So he created a distraction there to open up the guard from under by throwing a left uppercut from pretty far range, partially landing it on Pedro Munoz. He throws a half-hearted right hook, seeing that Pedro's covering up, and then bails out of it. He doesn't even throw it fully. Looks like he tries to reset, but Pedro does not allow him. Pedro moves forward, extending with that left hand again, cocking his right shoulder back before throwing the jab. And he connects with the jab, but notice how Chito moves his head with the punch. As you can see right here, look at it frame by frame. The punch is coming. He's moving his head away from where the punch is coming. It touches and grazes him. The reason why Pedro was not able to dig in even more is because look what Chito's doing with his lead hand. He's pushing at the chest with his jab. He's not targeting the face. He's pushing at the chest, which is going to stop him from moving his body closer to Chito. It's keeping him at range enough so the punch does not dig all the way. That is another reason as to why the punch only grazed. And then here comes the wild left overhand from Pedro Munoz. And Chito puts up a guard on both sides. He puts up a left guard and then extends forward with his right arm, trying to hide behind his shoulder. The punch gets partially blocked from the forearm connecting to the arm, not allowing itself to dig through, touching Chito at the top of the head. Pedro moves forward and fakes like he's going to go to the body, causing Chito's right hand to drop low in order to parry. And it actually would have been a lot better for Pedro to go for a left hook instead of a right overhand, because the fact that he dropped his right hand so low, there was a clear opening on that side over the top. So if he faked to the body that went up to the head with the same hook, it would have been much, much better. But because he threw the right overhand, it was extremely telegraphed. 
and Cheeto easily was able to block it as he held up that left guard the entire time, easily blocking the punch. And crazy enough, Joe Rogan had to say, right hand from Orthodox from Pedro Munoz as if it landed. Pedro moves forward, faking the jab and it draws the reaction from Cheeto to parry, but he throws in the winging left overhand as Cheeto pushes his face to create distance and also hides behind his own shoulder. He likes to bring his arms forward straight in the center line on the inside of these overhands and this time does not get hit at all by the punch. It's not a partial block this time, it's a complete evade. Ducks under the overhand effectively. Another big shot from Cheeto, a Superman punch from distance, and it lands really big on Pedro. This is the thing about slow starters. When they explode like this, in the first round, sometimes you just don't expect it because they're fighting so slow, and then all of a sudden they explode with something like this. It connected very clean on Pedro and got a good reaction out of him as well. And every single time Cheeto connected clean, Pedro had to get it back. He has kind of like that Jose Aldo get back personality. Every time Jose Aldo used to get hit clean, he had to return with something himself. Pedro's doing a similar kind of thing here. Pedro steps forward, showing his left hand, which means he's going to commit with his right hand. He's cocking back that right shoulder and throws in a shifting right hook with a lot of power generating. But did he not see Cheeto holding that left guard up? Cheeto had that left guard up the entire time. I think every time Pedro gets hit like this, he just does not think too much. He just wants to land with something big because Cheeto had that left guard up the entire time and he still punched at it. And of course, it gets defended. It gets blocked and deflected over Cheeto's head. Then we look at here toward the end of the first round. Cheeto lands a really good jab, pops him in the face open, as most of the jabs did. You can see how it snaps Pedro's head back. Then Pedro moves forward, just like whenever he gets hit clean, he has to return with something. He jumps in there with a jab himself. It gets parried, and he has to see again that Cheeto has his left guard up. Why is he throwing another right overhand? We may have found a new tell from Pedro. When he gets hit by something and he returns of something wild without really thinking about it, you know he got hit pretty good. So he throws that right overhand, it gets blocked and again deflected over the head. He gets really reckless here. He comes up with a left shovel hook that looks like it may have missed, but it could have partially landed. It's hard to tell from the camera angle. Regardless though, Cheeto goes to defend it. He's pushing at Pedro's face, creating space between them, which is also going to put his arm on the inside of the shovel hook, blocking it from the forearm, and he moves his head away as well. Pedro's going in, man. He throws another overhand, and Cheeto rolls away from the punch, gets himself perpendicular, and moves away very easily as the right hand only hits air. Then Cheeto goes forward and tries to predict that Munoz is going to drop his head. So he throws up a right knee, but Pedro does not move his head anywhere, as he should have known. Pedro rarely ever moves his head. And he oversteps with the knee. He really committed with it and stepped forward into southpaw. Pedro looks to counter him with a big winging left hook. And Cheeto does the same thing as always. He brings his right arm forward straight on the inside, tries to hide behind his shoulder, and gets partially hit with the forearm toward like the temple area, top and like back of the head kind of, but doesn't really show much of a reaction from the blow. And as you can see, Cheeto puts up that left guard immediately after that shot, thinking that Pedro's gonna follow up. But Pedro really only falls up like this when he gets hit clean. Now Pedro's moving forward, fainting with his left hand, and this time they're in opposite stances. Pedro's trying to get his foot on the outside in order to line up his right hand. But Cheeto switches into parallel, a very offensive stance, which is pretty concerning when you look at this moment right here. But he already established the angle and threw the left hook. At the same time, Pedro is throwing his right straight. This is one of those times where a looping punch beat a straight punch. Because Cheeto, while throwing the left hook, he gets off of his left foot and steps further out to get himself off the center line from the right straight. Because he hit Pedro with his left hook, he's throwing off Pedro's right hand from course. Connects clean with the left hook. Big shot from Cheeto. I know I said this is going to be more about the defense of Cheeto, but there are a lot of moments I wanted to talk about. You know, from Pedro as well, from Cheeto's offense. There was a lot of good stuff in this fight, specifically that first round I wanted to focus on. And as you can see, the big shots that I showed were the majority of the big shots that landed in the round. And you could clearly see that Cheeto had more damage. I could go through the whole scoring and showing you guys who landed bigger shots, but I'm telling you, after looking over this first round many times, Cheeto absolutely landed the bigger shots easily. Even his jabs are having a lot of effect on Munoz, let alone the Superman punch, let alone that one left hand that connected clean, let alone this left hook. Pedro only landed like one or two decent shot that was comparable, but Cheeto absolutely landed the biggest shots of the round, which is still mind boggling as to how the commentators missed so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown, and if you did, make sure to give this a thumbs up, enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.